Hello, so in this video I want to show you how to create this um, sign up box here at the bottom. Um, Alright, so let's get right into that. So the I mean, if I reload this, I'm going to take it out. This is probably what you'll see when you um, start your application, right? So Ben, if you go back to the back end of your website, in the WordPress back end, you see a subscribe form widget here. So basically to get to that point, you have to click on appearance and then widgets. And then this is where we need to put in the information for that form. So to do that, so drag in a text widget, all right? And then we need to put some form markup code in here. Um, first of all, you need to make sure that you have like a email subscription provider, right? I wouldn't um, advise you use your own or your own host but a good one that you can use is uh, MailChimp so if you go to MailChimp.com they actually have easy email newsletters and then you can have um, it free up to I think you have a free plan for up to 2,000 subscribers right all right so I'm signed up to MailChimp right and then if you go if you actually do sign up at the top here, if you go for every list you create, you will have like an embed code. So if you click on for your website and then sign up from embed code, you can actually find an embed code for this list. So then if I go in here, so this is basically my embed code. But we don't need to use everything. So let's just um, copy that for now, right? Um, then going back to, <coughs> to the back end. We need to paste in some text here, and that text is in your download. I think it's called form markup contact. No, sorry. All right, so we have a markup sign up markup. So that's basically the HTML file, the HTML value which you're gonna put in there. So then we copy this, and then we paste that into the text value in here. Then click on save. All right. So if we do that. Actually, if you reload the, app, um, the, the the website, you'll actually see the sign up form here. But this is taking you to the wrong place. This is when you when your users sign up in here, it's going to actually post them to the wrong value. So what you want to do is go back to Mailchimp and then um, pick up the the action for the form. So there's a form tag, and that posts to your specific list. So this is mine, right? So if I copy that, for example. It's hard to copy, isn't it? Okay, let's copy the whole text into a text file. So this is what I want, basically. So I want this bit here in the form action. And then if I go to the website, I can replace my action here. So the method is post, and my action should be what I just copied and that's all you need to do oh well there's one more thing you need to do then we have like an email input type here right so we need to make sure that that corresponds to the name on MailChimp as well so if you go and open that on MailChimp we will see that the input type email for the email has this name email so this is how MailChimp knows that this is an email address so if I copy that email and then go back to my form markup and look for my input type here. So that's my input form. That's basically this input form here. So I need to make sure my name, the name is called email in caps. And that's all you need to do. So if I click on save, that should work. So if I reload this, it's not, it's not going to change. But now we know that when we actually <coughs> put in an, our email address in here, this will go to MailChimp and then get your users subscribed but then if you want to find out how email subscription works the best thing is to just go on MailChimp's website and then do some more digging but then that's basically how to put your email subscription list at the bottom here thank you for watching see you in the next video